So you want to be able to browse the internet and take notes. Browsing the internet isn't easy enough. Let's have a look at one of my classes here. This happens to be year 11 history, but it's just got some resources we want to look at. So you can see here on the website, I'll just zoom in here with a pinch of zoom, that there's some resources here. There is a PowerPoint and a couple of Word documents. Now, on the iPad, you can't actually edit them, but there's no problem in reading them. So here is a PowerPoint being viewed through the browser so I can read it, look at the pictures, look at the words. There's no problem with that. If I wish to, I can select and copy some of the words off here. Tap and hold on the word, and then move the little blue handles to the part you want. Choose copy. So that's been copied. I'm now going to go back, have a look at the web page. Notice I've clicked on the Word document here. You can see the blue bar is moving very slowly. I can continue to look around this page, but it's a large document, so it's going to take a little time to um, download. So while it's downloading, I can look at other things, and that will continue to download. So I don't need to just wait here. In fact, I can even switch to another app. So I've closed that app down and open up the notes. So I can uh, take some notes while that's downloading. Create a new note and start typing. And you can see it's automatically putting in apostrophes and capital letters as I type. So if I start a new line here, you see, once again, capital letters for the start of a new line. It's automatically done that, didn't have to do anything. And we can see there, as I type, it's prompting me for the word it thinks I'm trying to type. If I wish to accept that word, all I need to do is tap the space bar and that will automatically be chosen. Now, as you can see here, the apostrophe was put in today's and if I misspell apostrophe here, I ignore the correct spelling and just continue on writing. It accepts my wrong spelling of the word but I can go back, tap on it, and choose the correct word. I can do that any time, but I have to do it right there. I can go back. So let's paste this in. So I'll tap and hold, appears paste, and there's a text from the document that I was looking at. You can see if I want to go back to someone and change a word, pushing and holding me under the magnifying glass, see the cursor where you want, delete that, and I can type in the correct word that I want in that space. It's very easy to go back up and change some words in my text. So I think probably by now, on the web page, that Word document should have finished downloading. Double tapping the Home button brings up the list of applications running. I've switched back to Safari here, and you can see the document has finished downloading. Almost. At the top, you can see the blue bar isn't quite the way along, but I've got most of the document here. So I can scroll through what I've got, zoom in, zoom out as I can with any web page. Remember that this is just a Word document on the internet. Uh, I can once again select whole chunks of it, small parts of it, move the blue handles around, copy that part, double tap the home button, switch back to my notes, and paste in, we'll get to the right place first, paste in where I'd like that part to be, there it is, ready and done. So that's multitasking, web browsing, reading Word and PowerPoint documents in the browser, and paste them in there. Also, I can have multiple pages open on the internet at the same time. So if I don't want to lose one specific page, I can have this one browsing around. Tap the little button at the top, 